Hello world and welcome to the Coding After Facts. In this tutorial, I want to teach you about string literal and how to use string literal to get this effect over here. So if you watch some of my older videos or been a fan of the channel, uh, you know I go over strings a lot in this channel. I would say the majority of my videos uh, use string in some form or fashion. So what I'm going over with you is probably nothing new as far as the old way of using strings, but this new syntax should help use strings a lot easier. And if you're using uh, 2019 or newer, you should be able to use this new syntax and with this new syntax you will be a little bit less error prone when using strings so if I click on this little rocket thing over here I can check to see which expression engine I'm using if um, legacy of Sanskrit is clicked then you're not going to be able to use this new syntax but if JavaScript is clicked then you're able to use this new string syntax. So before I actually show you the new way of doing things, I want to show you the old way of doing it and why you would want to consider using the new syntax. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get this sentence using expression with this layer. And this X is going to represent time for this layer over here. So I'm going to alt click on the source text. I'm going to use let t and let is just another way of creating variables but this is a new syntax for expression. Uh, you can still use var but let uh, has a little bit more advantage uh, than var and I'll explain that probably in another tutorial. Time which is going to allow me to get the composition time to fix and what to fix does is it's going to allow me to give me the ability to say how many decimals I want uh, with time so oh shoot that's not what I wanted to put down T there we go. So, while I scroll down, we're only getting two decimal places, and that's what I want. So, that part is done, and now let's get the first line of this sentence right here. I'm going to use single quotes to initiate my string. And there's a reason why I'm using single quotes. I'm going to click out of here. This disappeared because there's an error. And the error is I'm using three single quotes. Now, After Effects is reading this and thinking that this string is ending right here. But in actuality, I really wanted to end right here. But it doesn't know that since there's a single quote in the middle of it. So instead of using single quotes, we're going to use double quotes. So After Effects can read this correctly. And I spoke about this in older videos, but I prefer using double quotes because you are less likely to come across this error, uh, especially with the English language, you're more likely to use a single quote than a double quote. So that's how I usually avoid this error. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the second line in this sentence. And I'm going to go in here. Colon is now at plus T. Click out of there. I get another error. And this is because After Effects cannot read this double quote that's on a new line. And able to avoid this error, you're just gonna have to put a double quote at the end of that line and a double quote over here. If 
right click out of here is only reading this and that's because you also need to add plus in between here you can either have a plus here or down here I'm going to put it right here now that I added a plus it's still not reading that it's a new line these old strings don't read new lines instead you have to tell it when you have a new line by using an escape character and all escape characters use a backslash and another character a backslash n is going to give us a new line uh, there's other escape characters you can use but they're not as important or as relevant in after effects as the new line uh, one so we're now finally getting this sentence over here plus the time and if I wanted to look a little bit better I can go ahead and put this all in one line but this is a lot of work and as human humans we can easily make these errors I make these errors every so often so to avoid getting these, these errors we can use the new syntax for string which is the string uh, template literal and to get that instead of using quotes we can use this other character called the backtick which is located at the far left top of your keyboard uh, I might put like an image somewhere in here so you can kind of have a visual where it should be at but now that I got rid of those double quotes I can click out of here and now I'm not getting that error even though I got the single quotes right here I said that's not impressive but this is where the fun parts come in if I push enter right here it's reading my string correctly even though this is a new line and the icing on the cake I can get rid of this and actually put this variable inside of my string by using dollar sign curly bracket and T and now this is still working and it doesn't have to be another variable inside of these brackets you can use other things inside of these brackets too like you can create a math problem or an expression like 2 plus 2 you can also put in a function or any other type of expression inside of there and it will work so this is the power of a, a string template what you see is what you get unlike how it was with the old way of using strings uh, you have to do a little bit more so after effects will know what you're trying to do with it this one is a little bit straight to the point which i like a lot and that's it for string templates hope you learned something and if you enjoyed this video uh, watch my older videos and I have a lot more using strings in those other videos like I said earlier and to the next time peace out world